How's it going everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. I've got the Theory Type W, the new wing from Blade, out for some flying today. And I'm going to do four flights for you guys. I'm going to do three cell and four cell line of sight, and then also three cell and four cell FPV. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the Mobius in it, just because I want to get used to flying this wing before I do that. Now I have flown this one time line of sight with the four cell pack, and I found it was a little bit nose heavy. I had to have a little bit of up elevator pressure to keep I did widen that hole in the front there so the video transmitter hopefully gets a little more cooling because it is otherwise locked up in that fuselage and normally we like to get some airflow over those transmitters, they do tend to get hot. So the wing does have the finger grip here so you can launch it from the belly and of course there are some disadvantages there, one being if you launch it with power you've got the prop right back there and even if you're very careful, sooner or later, you know, if you launch this thing a hundred times that prop is going to bite the back of your hand and that won't be much fun. The other thing is you could just try launching it power off and then hitting the throttle once it's clear of your hand, but it's going to be going down and you're going to have to kind of rescue the plane before it hits the ground. So not real ideal to launch it from the belly. So my buddy Brian, who I fly with on Sunday mornings, suggested that I launch it the way he launches all his wings. And he does fly a lot of wings. He's kind of a wing guy. And that is hold it in the left hand like this, put the throttle at 50%, right thumb on the right stick, and then just straight frisbee launch, just like this. Let me show you guys how he launches it. When he launches it there, he's not twisting the airplane, he's not turning the airplane, he's just throwing it straight and just letting it get on step, and then he's got his hand, you know, he's got his right thumb on the right stick so he can control it, and away the wing goes. Very easy to launch it that way. That's how I'm going to launch this one. Now, if you guys remember from the last video, there are three different flight modes with the wing. You have the launch mode, the intermediate mode, and the expert mode. And the launch mode is really nice because what it does is it really limits the throw on your control surface. And it also gives you a little bit of up elevator trim when you launch it. So what that does is it makes the wing just want to climb away. And it has very little down elevator throw, so it's hard to overcorrect it and put the nose in. In fact, once you have it in launch mode, it's hard to get the wing to come down. You have to really push the elevator all the way down just to get it to come down a little bit. So once you get it up in the air, just switch it out of the launch mode into your intermediate or expert mode and continue flying. But it's a really nice feature, makes it really easy to launch this wing. All right guys, the airplane is ready to go with a three cell pack in there. And I just wanna show you real quick, this is launch mode setup, And you can see there's a little bit of up elevator trim there. So that's gonna help the wing just climb nice and easy. So you don't need to launch it with an extreme angle, just launch it at about 25, 30 degrees and it's gonna climb out on its own. And you can see you have really limited down elevator. So even if you totally overcorrect it, that nose is not gonna come down very steeply. It's just gonna to wanna to kind of fly away and climb. All right, let's go ahead and fly it. All right guys, let's go ahead and launch it just the way Brian did in the video, 50% throttle and right thumb on the right stick. All right guys, I'm not gonna spend too much time on the light of sight stuff, just to show you basically what it can do. So this is the three cell pack again. So let me bring it around, we'll do a high speed pass. And this is just the intermediate mode. I'm gonna just leave it in that for right now. And up we go, roll. Well, interesting, didn't wanna roll. Maybe that's a limit of intermediate. I didn't know that. Let me try rolling it again. Yep, doesn't want to roll. I think we know what intermediate mode means now, guys. But pretty fast on a three cell. Let's do it one more time. And climb it. Goes up quick, no doubt. I'm sure it's a spec by now for you guys. Let me glide it here, guys. Pretty smooth wing. I'm not an expert wing flyer or anything, but this is easy to fly. Anyway, that is 3S line of sight. Let me land it and then we'll go to the 3S FPV. All 
All right, guys, it is a hot day. It's probably well into the 90s, if not close to 100, and not a lot of wind. So kind of a torture test for this video transmitter, all the electronics, and also the LiPos. All right, guys, three cell flight, FPV. And I've gone into advanced mode here real quick. Not the greatest hand launch, that was a bit sketchy. And I haven't focused my camera yet. So, a few issues here, but so far so good. Pretty smooth. Rolls really fast. And man, I'm having trouble with the heat and this video transmitter. If it's left on too long, it goes black. And I have to let it cool down. So far, so good for this flight at least. And the range seems pretty decent. I'm a little nervous it's gonna overheat and go, go dark on me, but so far, so good. And this is the three cell, pretty quick. Nicely balanced. Yeah, fun wing. Once the FPV is working. I can probably adjust my goggles a little bit too. I think our, I think they're left over from this morning, or rather the other morning. But for a test flight, not too bad. There we go. All right, so this is the three cell. There we go, that's better. Quick adjustment there. I think this thing FPV on forest is going to be kind of crazy. I'm getting back and forth across this field really quick on 3S. 11.2 volts there, 11.3 volts. All right, I'm gonna land this guy. And then we'll try FPV on 4S. Well, for all the heat problems with this video transmitter, once in the air, it seems to be working just fine. There I am right there. Bring this guy down. All right, not bad. One thing I'm noticing is that if I don't get this thing launched pretty quickly, my FPV signal starts to get a little wonky. In fact, if you don't launch it within about a minute or so, it can tend to just go black. So, you know, I think that that video transmitter gets pretty hot in there. And especially if you have a hot day like today and you've got the LiPo sitting on top of it, uh, there's just a lot of heat in there. So best recommendation is as soon as you get this thing plugged in, get it in the air so that whatever airflow it's getting starts going and keeps it a little bit cooler. Uh, but definitely, you know, locked up in that fuselage there is not the best thing for a video transmitter. All right, guys, we're going to go four cell line of sight now. All right, back in intermediate. Let's bring it around full speed. Pretty quick.
And there we go. So that's what you want if you want your aerobatics. Intermediate is going to self-level or it's going to fight you anyway as far as going inverted. If you want this thing to go fully aerobatic, like that, got to put it into the advanced mode. And this thing gets small fast. It's a quick little wing. Rolls quick too. All right, let's bring it down, glide it, then I'll land it. It's a lot of power, the four cell. All right guys, now we're gonna do a 4S flight FPV. Get my goggles on. And let's get into advanced mode here. There we go. Yeah, I think a little nose heavy here, guys. Just a little bit. Uh, it's hard to say. It's close anyway. Yeah, it's fast. I don't think I've flown anything this fast FPV. This is full throttle right here, guys. And again, the FPV is holding up pretty good the heat so hopefully it's getting enough airflow there you know I'm getting some lines so I'm wondering if it is starting to get hot actually and we're gliding that looks like it's probably from the motor for the ESC, there you go. Yeah, so we're fine. It's just a little electronic interference there. A lot of voltage. <laughs> Fun. Nice wing. Usually in that spot a little interference is expected. Yeah, this thing gets across this field quick. Wow. All right. Well, I just wanted to give you guys a look at the FPV flying, three cell, four cell, also the line of sight flying. There's no, de there's no question that heat is affecting the video transmitter. So as soon as you plug it in, if it's hot, get this thing in the air. Don't let it sit around. But I like the way it flies. It's stable, it's smooth. It's fast, it's a nice little wing. And I'm gonna look forward to getting more flights with it. I'm not gonna do a Mobius flight today because it is blazing hot and I kinda of just wanna get out of here and get a drink. This is good enough. You can walk away with the plane, it's always a good one. Let's just bring it down and land it. All right guys, thanks for watching. As always, any questions or comments, post below, and I'll see you next time.